Hello. <coughs> Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So, all my videos that I have uploaded so far are primarily flight attendant content. They include trips that I go on. So, I thought today I would film more of like a day in my life when I'm off type video. Just to show you all how I kind of reset after I go on reserve for like a four to five day block. I'm usually super tired when I get back. So, I actually got back on Tuesday. Today's Thursday. I pretty much slept all day yesterday. I finished a book that I was reading and then I flew from Charlotte over to Raleigh to visit my family and to see Alex because he's working in Raleigh right now. So currently I'm at my parents' house. Also, I look like this because I literally just woke up. It is truly a full day in my life. I make a list on my phone usually the night before to try and kind of plan out what I need to get done for the next day. So I did make a list on my phone of what I need to get done. I'm not on schedule at all. I <laughs> plan to wake up by 8.30 and it's 10 a.m. now. I just spent the last 30 minutes feeding my dog and trying to find shorts upstairs so that I could go on a walk first thing, but I literally could not find a single clean pair of shorts in my mom's room and all of my clothes are dirty. So we're gonna actually switch up the schedule and we're gonna start by doing some laundry. Okay, so now I put my laundry in and I folded all of Alex's clean clothes. Now I need to eat something. I don't know how I thought I was going to get up and do like an hour of fasted cardio because my stomach is already growling like a lot I'm so hungry also another thing is that flying really dehydrates you so make sure on your days off that you're chugging water I always drink like a gallon of water on my days off just to make sure that I'm all hydrated and ready to go for when I start flying again my dog Carly for breakfast I think I'm just gonna have this Trader Joe's chicken sausage breakfast burrito Guys, I literally am just <laughs> looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm like, the viewfinder? Is that what it's called? I don't know. My camera like flips up so I can see myself. I need to stop looking at myself because I'm gonna be glowed up by the end of the day. Right now I look at myself and I'm like, oh, maybe I need to make the cover photo of this video. Like, find a tunic glows up in one day. The plan for today is I have a haircut appointment. Oh. oh. What is wrong? I am going to my haircut appointment at 1.30. I am getting a wax today and I'm getting my nails done because I don't know if you can see, but they're quite grown out. I gotta fix those. And then I'm gonna do my makeup because I have to film another video for y'all that's half finished. I literally, I'm not kidding. I have four half filmed videos on my camera. I don't know why, no, I know why. It's because when I get back from a trip, I'm so tired that I'll just sleep for a whole day and then I'll forget that I was even filming a video in the first place and then I'll have to go back and finish it. I'm just not used to this constant filming life yet, especially in public. It is so hard for me to film in public, you guys. I get so awkward and embarrassed, especially when I'm on trips with my crew. I don't want to just whip out my camera and be like, I'm a YouTuber, I have 600 subscribers. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm thankful for each and every one of y'all. Like 600 subscribers is more than I even thought I would ever have. Thank you if you are subscribed. It really means a lot to me. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, subscribe. That'd be really cool. Another thing about being a flight attendant is that it has turned me into a caffeine addict. I literally cannot go a single day without caffeine. Now it's really not ideal, but gotta do what you gotta do to stay awake and stay functioning. If you're a caffeine addict, you know the headache, withdrawal headaches from when you don't drink caffeine are actually unreal, so. All right, I'm gonna watch some YouTube, eat my breakfast, and then I will talk to y'all in a minute. It is one of these days where like, I cannot make this shit up. I'm about to pull my mom's car out and the gate will not open. This is like the gate thing over here. It's blaring loud, beeping at me. I know I'm being really dramatic right now, but it's just like, <laughs> I already am rushing everywhere. And I need a car because I literally have two more appointments after this haircut appointment. So I'm like trying to get the gate open. The thing is beeping at me so loud. And I was just like, I'm about to cry. So I call my dad and I'm like pretty much in tears. And he's just like, well, is it is is it turned on? I'm like, yes, it's turned on. It's just broken. So it's currently 10 minutes past when my appointment was supposed to start. And I am just now Ubering there. That's how my day's going. 
Okay, it is literally so sunny out here, but sorry for the freak out earlier. Uh, my dad actually came and picked me up. Like, he was so, so sweet. He called me and he's like, hey, uh, I'm coming to pick you up. I'll be there in three minutes. So he picked me up, took me to my appointment. All was good. She didn't even have another appointment booked until three o'clock. So I was kind of freaking out for no reason. I was just so frustrated. The gate was yelling at me. Anyway, I got a haircut blinded by the sun right here but then I went to go get my wax done and the girl that waxed me was literally so nice she was a new person that I hadn't been to before but I always go to this place that's in Cary and now I went to Starbucks while I'm waiting for my mom to come pick me up and I just got a grande vanilla cream cold brew because that's been my drink lately and I got an everything bagel with cream cheese because I'm supposed to go to sushi with Alex tonight, so I don't want to eat too much before. Went ahead and just got a snack, because I'm about to get my nails done right now, once my mom picks me up. So I will see y'all at or after the nail salon. Okay, just got back from getting my nails done. Well, I guess I'll show y'all. Put them like this. He did a really good job. They're very springy. And then now my mom yelled at me to go move the car back into the garage, so. And then I'm going to feed my pig. Yes, for those of you who did not already know, I do have a pet pig here at my parents' house. I brought him home when I was 17 years old. My parents were not very happy about it, but now they like him, so he lives here. How are you today? Yes, I will talk to him like he's a little baby. Cause he's my little baby. His name is Hamilton and he is six years old. Oh my God, he's about to be seven years old. Isn't he so sweet? <laughs> Y'all are literally probably like, do you live on a farm? I don't live on a farm. This is where he lives. This is his igloo over there. He's got lots of blankets in there. He also has a bunch of hay over there where he makes his nest. He's got shade under his little tree here and his water bowl's over there as well. So he loves it in his little area. And then sometimes he goes and grazes in the backyard as well. But yeah, so that's Hamilton. This is literally what I was talking about with my time management skills though because Alex is literally on the way home. And I was supposed to film a whole nother video today. So clearly I don't have time to do that. But it's okay, I have time tomorrow. Okay you guys, so I'm in the car with Alex. So I am going to wrap up this video here since literally all we're doing is going to get sushi and then I'm coming home and going to bed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this not very interesting video of kind of what I do to reset and get ready for another week of flying. Obviously, I don't do these things every week. This was more of like a self-care day that I try to do once a month. If you watch until the end, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, thanks so much for subscribing, and I will see you soon, bye.